Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of uh, makeup, <laughs> duh, which was inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She basically made me buy all of the things in this video, but I know that a lot of people have done, like YouTube made me buy it, but I was going to do another one of those, but then I thought I may as well just do an entire Nikki Tutorials made me buy it, because that is a more realistic thing. <laughs> yeah, as you guys know, if you have been subscribed to my channel for a while, um, Nikki Tutorials is one of my all-time favourite YouTubers. I absolutely love her. I think she is insanely talented. She is the main reason why I love my highlighter so much, um, and also one of the reasons that I started my channel. I just think she is incredible. Um, so yeah, a lot of the stuff that I buy is heavily influenced by her. And I would love for Nikki to see this video, um, just to know like how much of an amazing person she is and how much of an influence she has on my face. Maybe you'd like tweet her the link to my video or tag her in my tweet with the link to this video. I don't know, I would just love for her to see it because she's amazing. And she is the main reason why I'm so obsessed, so there we go. Okay, so I'm starting off by priming my face using something that wasn't directly, um, you know, got because of Nikki, but it was influenced by her. You guys know that she used to use the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm because it had glycerin in it, but other people were saying that it was like bad for your skin or something, so I did some of my own research and I found that this moisturiser by Seven Glory has glycerin in it. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So I thought maybe this will work the same. Um, and I love using this as a primer for my makeup, so I'm going to put that on today. It also smells really good. This also does the same thing, like it leaves your face feeling kind of tacky, which is what you want. I kind of hope that Nikki watches this video because I want her to try this. And then moving on to foundation, I've got four foundations which have been uh, bought because of Nikki. Um, the first one is the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade 00. This one is a little bit dark for me so I'm not going to use it today. I've also used this many times on my channel before. Um, I do really like this foundation so thank you Nikki for the recommendation but Milani, like, can you please bring out a paler shade because this is still like pretty dark. The next foundation that I got I was actually sent. It is Nikki's favourite foundation at the moment I believe. This is the I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. It's basically Lancome's uh, 24 hour foundation. I have the shade 01, but I don't think this is the lightest shade. I tested this on the back of my hand and it is so dark when it oxidizes. Like, I'm just gonna show you guys. So I'm gonna put some on my hand. So you see the color of that? Just give it a few minutes and that is, go that is gonna change. But yeah, after a while the shade oxidizes to such a crazy point that I can't even wear it. Um, so I don't know, hopefully I can get my hands on a paler shade because I really do want to try it and I like the look of the formula and stuff, it's just way too dark. I'm just gonna leave that to sit for a little bit longer and then I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. When I went to Florida, I picked up the Infallible Pro Glow, which we don't have in the UK, um, but I did already have the Total Cover and I'm pretty sure these are the two that Nikki mixes. Literally, the number of times I'm gonna say Nikki in this video, I'm just gonna stop and say she. So yeah, I've seen her talk about these uh, two mixed together, so I'm gonna try and mix them together today and see what they're like on my face. Literally, like, look at my hand now. <laughs> I obviously couldn't do this video without a beauty blender. This is one of the um, official beauty blenders. I do actually love this. Um, I think it's great. So thanks for the recommendation. I didn't bring it out enough. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. This is some good coverage. Oh my god, I literally look like a ghost. Okay, so I'm really liking that. I know that I've gone over my lips and I look a bit creepy, but that looks really good. Next, moving on to concealer. I'm so excited for this because I haven't actually used this before yet. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Again, I got this when I was in Florida. And I got the shade Fair Beige. Everyone and their mum loves this, so I'm so excited to try it. I've only swatched it on the back of my hand, but literally, like, how fat is this concealer wand? It actually makes me laugh. Oh, it just feels so strange. Why would you need a concealer wand this big? I have no idea what the coverage of this is like, so I'm gonna start off with that amount. I think that's gonna be fine. And then I'm using the other side of my beauty blender to blend this out. Oh. Oh, wow. Look at that coverage. I just wish this concealer was cheaper. Like, Nikki Tutorials is the reason why I'm broke. I love that concealer. Blended out so nicely and it's got really good coverage. So I'm just gonna put some down my nose. And around my nose, on my chin, and a bit on my spots as well. 
Okay, so so far I am loving everything. That concealer is so good and it is such a good color for me. I'm so happy. I was gonna get, oh, I've just dripped concealer into my contour palette. Whoops. Okay, so next onto powder, I'm using the NARS Loose Powder in the shade Snow. And she used this literally like for years. Um, and Emma got me this for my birthday. She is such a babe, so thank you Emma. Oh my god, I've just looked at the foundation on my hand. Look how badly that oxidizes. I am gonna do some baking in this video, sort of. I'm gonna use my beauty blender to apply it because that's what Nikki always did. Literally, how do people bake evenly? It just doesn't work for me. I feel like baking is not really gonna do much anyway because it's pretty much like matches my foundation and concealer. My skin is incredibly oily, so I need the powder. I'm really sorry if these lips are offending you. Okay, so moving on to brows, I've got two products by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I had never heard of them really before I saw Nikki's videos. I just wanna clarify, this was a long time ago. Obviously, I know who Anastasia Beverly Hills is. And I saw that she used um, the Brow Wiz in Taupe, because when I first watched one of her videos, I was like, oh my God, her eyebrows are amazing. What does she use? I saw that she used this, and I'm pretty sure at one point she used the pomade as well, so I got both of them. <laughs> um, but to be honest, I used to use the Brow Wiz all the time, but for some reason I have become incapable of using brow pencils. So I do prefer the pomade, but this is a really good eyebrow pencil that is so skinny. I'm gonna try, I think it's cause. Not very good at drawing straight lines. Let's try and do the outline with this pencil. I used to use this every day, like I've been through an entire one of these before already, but for some reason, I just can't do it anymore. So I'm gonna go in with the pomade. This is also in the shade taupe, and this is amazing stuff. Quite happy with these brows today. Maybe I should use the combination of the pencil and the pomade more. I mean, obviously they're nowhere near as good as Nikki's, but I'm quite proud of them. Okay, so next, moving on to contour. This product I haven't tried yet, but I literally hate Nikki for loving this because this is 35 pounds, I think. It's the Kevin O'Quan Sculpting Powder. I got the shade Light just because I was looking at the uh, swatches online and I know that she always used to use medium, but they since brought out a light one um, and I thought that this one looked like a better color for me. And it comes in a little velvety pouch. Oh my God, look at my hand. That is literally orange, like orange, orange. Anyway, it comes in a little velvet pouch and then you pop it out like this. The packaging is all like fancy. It's got a nice like ombre going on here. And then you press this little button and it pops open. So I've swatched this and it is so super creamy, um, but I've never used it on my face, but I'm a little bit scared because it is so pigmented that I just, I'm worried that I'm gonna end up looking muddy. Oh my god, yes. That is the perfect contour colour. And it blends so nice. This is beautiful. You have to be very light-handed because it is so pigmented, but I, I'm loving this. Okay, then to warm up my face, I'm using a bit of Hoola Light. You guys saw that I reviewed this the other day on my channel, because obviously the Kevin O'Quan one is quite cool toned. I've just realised I completely forgot to use something that I wanted to use. I was going to use this before I powdered, but I completely forgot. I might save it for another video, I don't know. I never normally wear blush, but I had to try the Milani Baked Blush. Ooh, I've just got hair like stuck to my hand. The Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, because she has talked about this so many damn times that I was like, I don't even wear blush, but I need to buy it. That is so pigmented. Okay, it gives you a bit of glow as well. I have the Maybelline Master Strobing Liquid but obviously you're supposed to do this before you powder. Okay, I'm just gonna try the tiniest little bit on my finger. And I'm gonna try and dab this on. Yeah, I can just tell that over the top of powder that is not gonna work and it is beautiful, but I think I'm probably gonna try this in another first impressions video just because I completely forgot that I even had it because I'm so not used to wearing cream products. But don't fear guys, I've got another new highlighter to test. <laughs> this is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Pearl. Um, and again, I've heard her talk about this so many times. I've seen it on her beautiful face. It's basically just a white highlighter, which is what I need. Yes. A lot of people have been asking me recently why I put highlighter all the way down, like onto my cheeks. Um, and they said that you should put highlighter on the high points of your face. And I appreciate you guys trying to help or whatever. Um, but I don't know if you've noticed, my face is practically a circle. I don't really have high points to my face, so when I smile, the high points of my face are like my entire cheekbones, you know? Um, and I quite like the way that it looks, bringing it down onto my cheeks because then 
you can see it glow. <laughs> and also, it's kind of what Jaclyn Hill does, so, you know, that's just how I like to wear it. This highlighter is beautiful. Look at that. I obviously have an Ofra highlighter collaboration, which is insane, but I did a whole other video on that, so I thought I would test this one in today's video. I really wanted to get one of the Juvia's Place palettes, but the one that I wanted was sold out, out of stock. I did get the Anastasia Modern Renaissance because of Nikki. I also got Makeup Geek eyeshadows because of Nikki. I got a Morphe palette because of Nikki. I got these Steeler Liquid eyeshadows because of Nikki and because of Kim Tai. I saw her use those too. Um, so I'm just gonna use a combination. Look at my hand now, like this is actually a joke. So I'm going in with the Makeup Makeup Geek shadow in, I think it's Beaches and Cream? Nikki, if you're watching, I'm so sorry I didn't prime my eyelids using MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I don't have it, please don't stab me. I think I'm then gonna go in with this one here, which is called Frappe. By the way, Makeup Geek shadows are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you need to, because the pigmentation levels and the blendability is insane. I'm literally just making this look up as I go along. I'm gonna go in with the shade Bitten by Makeup Geek, which I absolutely love. This is one of my favorite shades um i haven't worn it in ages i'm just gonna put that on the outer corners and then blend it through my crease okay i'm also running that color along my lower lash line i just realized that the colors i've used just now don't really match any of the cedar liquid eyeshadows liquid glitters that i've got one thing i've definitely learned is to just keep blending until you die. Okay, so the three uh, Stila liquid glitter eyeshadows that I've got are called Rose Gold Retro, Smoky Storm, and Diamond Dust. I did want to get the gold one and the bronze one, but they were out of stock, so I just settled with these ones. I haven't used Diamond Dust yet, so you know what? I'm just gonna like mess with the system and use a silver glitter with warm toned eyeshadows. Oh my god, look at that color. I wore the more taupey colored one to my cousin's wedding and it was so good. I think a drugstore brand needs to come out with something similar because these are so pricey, but I've never seen anything like them. I mean, obviously like glitter eyeliners exist, but these are on another level. So I'm just gonna go back in with the brush, and just lightly blend over the edges. I'm gonna use Makeup Geek Shimmer Shimmer to highlight my inner corners, which is this one here. I mean, I probably should have done this before. So the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. Look how beat up this one is. I do have another one, but I don't want to open it yet because this still hasn't run out. So I'm just going to line my eyes with this. This honestly is one of the best eyeliners ever, but it does not want to draw over the glitter. I'm just going to put, my, put a bit of my L'Oreal Baby Roll Mascara on because... I don't really have a mascara inspired by Nikki because I feel like she's more about the fake lashes instead of mascara. This mascara is amazing though. Okay, so I'm just going to put some lashes on. These are the House of Lashes Pixie Luxe lash Lashes. I've heard Nikki talk about um, House of Lashes lashes. I think she likes the iconic style. I don't have that style, but I'm going to wear these ones because... I feel like the iconic ones would take up my entire face. So those lashes were a task to get on. They are so pretty and dramatic, but... It just took me forever to get them on because the inner corners would not stick down. The main lip products that I've bought inspired by Nikki Tutorials are the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipsticks. Um, also the Ofra Liquid Lipsticks as well, which are incredible, I have to say. I got some recently, but um, I'm probably going to do my Ofra stuff in a separate testing video because you guys haven't seen me use them before. Um, whereas the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks are some of my all-time favourite lipsticks. They actually are like my all-time favourite lipsticks. I first bought my Jeffree Star Liquid Lipsticks because I'd seen that Nikki Tutorials was wearing one and I was like, ooh, that looks nice. Um, so yeah, I got one. And I think the shade I'm gonna go for is Celebrity Skin, which is like a absolute classic. And I'm probably gonna have to get a new one of these soon because I wear it so much. Okay, so this is the finished look, which is completely inspired by Nikki Tutorials. She basically made me buy all of these products and I love all of these products. Like, the products on my face right now are some good quality stuff. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you are new here, I post on Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. No, Soph. No, you don't. You post on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I don't even know what was wrong with me when I was filming this video. <laughs> I hope you guys have loved this video as much as I've loved filming it. Literally, this has been one of my favourite videos to film just because all of the products... I'm looking around my mirror. All of the products that I've used today 
I absolutely love and I'm so happy with the makeup look. I think the lashes are maybe a bit too dramatic for me but I love the rest of the makeup. So I hope you guys like it too and yeah I hope you're all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!